So, I believe all the country in this world have their own unique culture. They're represented as clothes, music, dance, song, attributes, language, and so much more. But imagine if your culture is being used for exploitation or trend, and those people who made those trend does not give any credit to your culture. As the owner of that culture, how would you feel? Do you feel offended? So what do you think about cultural appropriation on fashion industries? Hello Internet! My name is Safira Putri Arvita from Skoda Mabangsa and today I will talk more about the topic cultural appropriation on the fashion industries. So what is cultural appropriation? Based on dictionary.com, cultural appropriation is the adoption or co-opting of culture, usually without the acknowledgement of cultural identity markers associated with or originating a minorities by people who is relatively privileged status. If you don't understand this definition, cultural appropriation is like when you're doing a homework and then you get an F on it. But the people who copy your homework and doesn't give any credits to you got a perfect score in it. So what does cultural appropriation need to do with the fashion industries? I believe we all know who is Agnes Mo, a very talented singer who was born in Indonesia. Back on August 2019, Agnes Mo got a lot of blasphemy and critics because of her cornrow braid hair that is originated from Papua and Black culture. This situation gave a lot of controversy at the moment because of how Agnes Mo is also looked blackwashed on the photo she posted on Instagram. But the funny thing is that a lot of people who criticize her is not even from Papua or Black. They're just using this controversy to hate on Agnes Mo. But not only that case, Indonesia Batik was claimed by Malaysia on 2009. Because of this problem, a lot of Indonesian citizens was very mad and triggered because of it. Indonesia immediately registered Batik to UNESCO to claim Batik as our native culture. Culture is a very controversial topic to discuss. Because there are a lot of different opinions on this topic. But when it comes to race, people will feel very offended if you told them this. Racism is really a very common thing in our society. We are judged by our traditional clothes, how we spoke, our languages, how we look, our skin color, our face, and so much more. And the sad part thing is that if you're famous or you're a celebrity or influencer and you're using our traditional clothes, people all over the world will praise you, will say that it's so modest, it's a fashion thing, it's a trend, and so much more. But when the real culture owner uses it, people will say that it's ghetto, freak, weird, old, and so much more. Fashion is a very huge aspect and will always grow, continuing with our modern era. There are a lot of people in the fashion industry who love putting a little bit of culture in their work. But there is a difference between culture appropriation and culture appreciation. When you appreciate, you will learn the culture you're using. You will understand the true form and background on the work that you are using. So, nowadays a lot of people misinterpret the words stealing and the words inspired. Like I told you before, there are a lot of people out there who love to put culture in their work, but they didn't know anything about the culture. They also take credit and tell everyone that they created this style. It's not that hard to appreciate a culture. Yes, you can modernize it on your work, but that doesn't mean that you can offend the culture owner. You need to appreciate the culture you're using in your work. So ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, it's actually okay 
to use other culture in our work, especially in the fashion industry, as long as the culture owner doesn't get offended because of it. But not only that, you need to remember that you need to respect and appreciate that culture. To me personally, it's actually good when people start recognizing our culture. You know, like when people start learning about it and searching about it, I feel proud for my culture. There's still a lot of people out there who appreciate and embrace our culture. Because if not, our culture will be dead or even outdated. So ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, first, it's okay to use culture in our work, in my opinion. But you need to know the boundaries. You need to know if that specific culture and that specific item in that culture is okay to use in your work. We never know if it's sage, sacred, or does it have a special meaning to their culture. So please do a research about it. Second, it's not that hard to appreciate other people's culture without mocking it. So let's create a beautiful world and let's unite. Thank you for listening. My name is Sakura Puriyarita from Skoda Mabangsa. Once again, thank you.